Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 85. To kick things off, I've managed to pick up a Commander Zilyana task. So I've gone for the full 35 and going to be heading to God Wars. I've not done an awful lot of Zilyana. Um, just over 100 kills, so who knows, might get lucky and uh, be able to pick up a unique. Otherwise, I would like to go back to Armadil this episode and in the process, um, through catching chins, get 99 Hunter, which would be pretty cool. And who knows, maybe get the Armor Helm, which is the last item I am missing there. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. Well, there is a drop. That is a Godsword Shard 3. Well, that is the end of the task. Another 35 Zilyanas down. Hitting like an absolute truck with the Slayer Helm. It is ridiculous seeing 40s and 50s. I might actually come back here later on in the episode off task and uh, do a few more kills. It's good fun. Very pleased to be picking this up early on in the episode. Another Aviancy task. So of course that means heading back to Armadil God Wars. And this is going to get me 99 Hunter as I catch the Black Chins. I'm not sure what this will take my KC up to. Maybe like 950. Um, so yeah, if we can get the helm, that'd be great. If not, well, 9900 at least will be good. Coming in with 91 smithing. Um, the process of getting to 99 is one that I'm not particularly looking forward to. Um, buying gold ore is quite tedious, so I'm just trying to make the most of all the ore and bars that I get from PVM really. Got an elite clue coming in, what can we get? A whole lot of nothing. I was having a quick look at some of the resources that I've got in the bank and I've decided that I want to go for 99 fletching this episode as well. So what I've ended up doing is turning all of my Addy and Rune Ores into bars and I'm going to be smithing these along with my Mithril bars into Dart Tips uh, which I've already started doing and then fletching these. And once I've done all that I'll need about 150 to 160,000 Broad Arrows. Um, I've made a good chunk of headless arrows so not too many more of those to make and that'll be 99 fletching which will be pretty cool this is it the last chin chomper for 99 hunter very pleased to be finishing that one off it's been pretty chill i have to say um just been chipping away at it a few hundred k xp at a time every time i've had an armadil task um yeah depending on how lucky i get with the armadil helm may or may not be back to be catching um, a few more chins, we shall see. I think if I had to estimate, I probably probably done like five or six mil um, of my XP at black chins, and yeah, significant portion doing birdhouse runs. So I haven't done those for a very long time. Um, but yeah, the stat page is looking pretty tasty now, and as I mentioned, going to be getting 99 fletching this episode as well. First drop of the task, and that is a shard three off of the melee minion. Picked up a master clue, what can we get? Hmm. Oh, it's worth 645k, that's not too bad really. And that is 92 smithing, obviously the halfway point to 99 made good progress on turning these bars into uh, dart tips and haven't got too many left to go now. And this will be all of the supplies needed for 99 fletching banked. Um, of course, a lot of people treat fletching as a zero time skill and I guess the uh, the truly efficient thing would be to make all of these darts and arrows alongside another skill like agility, but I'm going to be inefficient and uh, just rush straight to 99. I think that'll be more fun. And here we have the last darts for 99 fletching. In all honesty, not the most exciting 99 to get on an Iron Man. I don't really think there's anything you unlock at level 99. And yeah, the only thing I've really gained is a lot of darts. I've got pretty much a lifetime supply of these now. I really doubt I'm ever going to burn through 100,000 adamant darts, uh, let alone 200,000 mithril darts. 41k rune darts is actually quite a lot as well. I think I can be um, less frugal with using these going forward, which is nice. And if I'm not mistaken, that leaves me with six skills left to... Uh, maxing the account. I don't think I've really spoken about maxing before. Um, it's going to happen at some point. I think there's uh, there's no point denying it. I did think at the start of the year um, whether I should put maxing um, before the end of 2020 as one of my goals, but in the end I sort of decided not to because I felt like I still had a lot of PVM stuff that I wanted to do and it would. I actually looked into the hours needed to max and it would be quite tight, but I suppose there is a possibility before the end of this year. I don't want to commit to it because 
Um, still a lot of pretty slow grinds, but I have planned out pretty much what I want to do for all of the skills. Um, nothing too surprising really. I suppose the quickest one I've got is thieving, which will just be pyramid plunder. That's pretty straightforward. Um, then smithing will be gold ore, which I'm not particularly looking forward to because I have to buy all of it from the blast furnace shop, which is, uh, well, I mean, it's quick, but it's expensive and it's a bit fiddly. So yeah, then it's pretty much slow skills. So mining, I think I'm just going to do motherload mine. It's not very efficient, but it's AFK and it's easy. Fishing, I think it'll be a mixture. I might do some anglers when I want to do really AFK. Might do some like three tick bar fishing when I want something quick. And then I suppose just regular bar fishing is a sort of semi AFK way to train it, which would be good. Uh, agility is going to be done partly through the sepulchre because I do want to go back and get the ring. Um, and then after I've got the ring, probably just do RD. And rune crafting will be done through bloods. Um, I haven't given too much thought to like what order I want to do these. I do want to get the ring from the sepulchre before I start my rune crafting grind and blast furnace because that's going to reduce the amount of stamina potions I need to use for smithing and it would increase the XP per hour ever so slightly for rune crafting. Um, but yeah, that's where we stand. There is 92 fishing, just doing a bit of AFK at Barbarian. It's not too bad, about 60k an hour. So not too slow, not too fast. The AFK is going strong, that is 93 fishing. And there we have 94 fishing as well. And that is 95 fishing as well. We have a master clue coming in, can we get anything good? That's not too bad, you know, some wines, decent amount of nature runes, 287k, and 49 masters done now. And this is going to be 95 agility coming in at the sepulcher. I've been doing a little bit of this here and there. Still going for the ring of endurance, which is going to be pretty handy for rune crafting and smithing. I realized in that previous clip where I was speaking about maxing that I said that, uh, yeah, I wasn't really planning on focusing on it. And then I've just gone ahead and put in a bunch of uh, skilling clips. But yeah, don't worry. I'm going to be finishing that armadillo task before the end of the video. Well, I did promise that I would come and finish the armadillo task, and I'm a man of my word. Here I am, and I've just picked up a shard two off a minion. Well, there we go. That is the end of the task, finishing up on 947 KC, and still no armadillo helmet. I managed to get all tiers of clues from fishing, and I turned it into a master and managed to complete it. What can I get? Ooh, I don't think I've had that before. The Hood of Darkness. That is a unique item, very cool, and 50 masters done as well. Been a while since I've done a Jad task, didn't get the pet from killing the boss, so I'm going to hand the cape in and see if I can get lucky. Not this time. Back to back Jad task, very, very nice. There we go, another Jad down, that is my 15th overall, and of course, going to be handing in the cape. Let's see what happens. Ah, again, not this time. Well, I couldn't get the third in a row Jad task, but Duradal has given me something better, which is another Aviancy task, 200 in total. I think this will be a good way to round off the video. I've actually gone and caught all the chins that I need, and this will probably take me close to a thousand Cree KC. Won't get me quite there, but pretty close. And uh, yeah, wish me luck. I'm really hoping I can get the helm. That'll be a nice way to finish the video. My clip messed up there, but I did just get a God Sword Shard 3 off the minion. Better than nothing, I suppose. Deja Vu, another Shard 3 in the same trip. Two clues from that armor trip, a hard and an elite. What can we get? Nothing. Ooh, master clue. Can we do it? We can certainly give it a shot. All right, master clue is complete. I think this is number 51. I'm going to give this one a little shake for good luck. I'm feeling, I'm feeling lucky. I think we're going to get something from this. took forever to open and I got nothing. Too bad. Well, that is the end of the task, unfortunately. 990 KC overall. No helm this task, no armor pieces at all, actually. Um, so we will continue hunting for another armadillo task, but I think that'll be for the next episode.
And that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. Really good to knock out 299s this episode being Hunter and Fletching. And good to do a couple of armadillo tasks. Unfortunately, still no helm. And my aim of getting uh, armadillo completely done before 1000 KC is looking increasingly unlikely. But you never know. I'm not going to let it put me off. We'll keep going for those tasks and hopefully we'll get the helm soon. If you enjoyed the episode, as always, feel free to drop a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest videos in the series, uh, hit that subscribe button as well. And until next time, guys, take care.